And we know that more than 40,000 Americans have now died because of the coronavirus, nearly double that number from a week ago. But as Elise Preston reports, there are new protests against stay-at-home orders planned for today, even as new hotspots emerge. In demonstrations from Washington State to Wisconsin, protesters pushed back against stay-at-home orders they say have trampled their freedom and right to work. Some practice social distancing, some did not. It's the facts of life. We live and we die. So to shut down the economy because of that is insane. In Denver, an apparent counter-protester dressed in scrubs blocked cars. But a new poll from the Pew Research Center finds 66 percent of Americans say they fear social distancing measures ending too early, including a majority of both Democrats and Republicans. Cases of COVID-19 are now spiking in rural parts of the country. There's been a 32 percent increase in Oklahoma, 39 percent in Arkansas, 32 percent in Florida. Iowa saw an 82% jump with most cases from workers at meat processing plants. At the site of the shuttered Smithfield pork plant in South Dakota, there was a 124% jump in cases last week. Unless we get the virus under control, the real recovery economically is not going to happen. Starting this week, New York will test 3,000 people for antibodies of the coronavirus at testing sites like this one. The governor hopes the sampling will give a clearer picture of how many New Yorkers might have been infected with COVID-19. But CBS News' John LaPook warns many of the antibody tests are unreliable. The last thing you want is a false positive or false negative. It's better to have no test than to have an inaccurate test. He says accurate tests are needed to slowly reopen parts of the country. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York.